this will be the last sample data that I'm going to show you, but this is to prove to you that data are out there. But you know, we are gathering data later, we start featuring and know how to work with them. If you go to this web at, uh, website, which I also found on Google, you will come across this blog that sort of consolidated a lot of these data sets and add some context to it. So, searching through this, you see more customer data sets. I'm very sure this data is coming from Kagu, but it should sort of tell you the data science project idea. Do you see that? You know, you move on to other one, Irish data set, people say it's popular, but if you don't know where it is, this will link you back to it. Um, also, this is email classification data. So, packaging data set, this could be helpful, um, you see, with even project idea, you know, idea around this. So, you can also click on this. Tata, oh, this is popular cargo data set, Titanic data set, Uber pickups, era data, and 70 plus. Wow, which is for machine learning now. Our project ideas. Okay, if I go back here, you see this one is actually coming from cargo, and the other one is coming from UCI. Do you see everything is a fallback to cargo, UCI, and some other site? The reality is here, it is not just the data, it is how do you work with this data? How do you create a business use case? How do you know the kind of business use case you should create? How do you know the kind of project that is fit for those data? This is the missing gap. And we're going to tie all these things together and everything in between in this module. So I hope I've been able to at least answer this question, where can I get data to work on for my personal project? So not only for a data scientist, even data analyst, you might not be predicting with this data, but you can run analysis on them right so your task is to go through this almost every save this url because that's the primary url and try to find additional use case that you are interested in but have not been you've not been able to capture it for example you might want to take this now you know credit card fraud detection data set you know just gather them at least 10 as well add it to what we have what that means is you have 40 different data sources we're going to review them later bye for now